Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at doing this definite integral from 0 to 2 of the function x minus 1 times e to the x minus 1 squared. So this looks similar to maybe like x times e to the x squared, and it actually is very similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u, so let u equal that exponent x minus 1 quantity squared. Then I'm going to make a, my derivative, take my derivative du dx. du dx is equal to 2 times x minus 1. So it's like a chain rule differentiation. I guess technically we're multiplying by 1 right here. And then in differential form, we can rewrite this as du equals 2 times x minus 1 dx. So in my integrand, I have x minus 1 dx, but I don't have extra 2. So I can actually say that 1 half du is equal to x minus 1 dx. So I've got part of my integrand that's going to be absorbed into my du over 2. And then my function will be e to the u squared, or sorry, just e to the u times du over 2. Now all I've got left to do is change my bounds, and then I'll say if x equals 0, or if x equals 2, we'll start with the upper bound. If x equals 2, what happens to the variable u? Well, u is equal to, in this case, 2 minus 1 squared. So that's just 1 squared, which is 1. If x is equal to 0, the lower bound, my new lower bound for u will be 0 minus 1 squared, which is negative 1 squared, which is 1. So actually my integral becomes integral from 1 to 1 e to the u times 1 half du. Well, integral, integral from the, in the lower bound being the same as the upper bound, well, that's got to be 0. I mean, you can work it out, and you'll see that it's going to be 1 half e to the u from 1 to 1, which is e minus e, so that's 1 half e minus e, which is just 0. So we would have known that actually already if we had just seen that it was like the same bound. That's guaranteed to give you an integral of 0, because there's no area over a single point. But either way, we get the integral is 0 in this case, and that's how we do uh, this u substitution.